Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia World. Today we'll discuss about a concept which is called as the power of a lens. So we will see what the power of a lens means, what does it uh, signify. Then we will see the formula to find it and uh, also the sign convention that is used to define the power of a lens. And finally we will close the lecture by presenting some examples. Let us begin our discussion about uh, the power of a lens. We know that when a ray of light passes uh, through a lens, it gets deviated. So there is a deviation, but how much does uh, deviation does actually take place? That determines what is the power of the lens. So we can say that the power of a lens is a measure of the amount of deviation produced by the lens measure of deviation produced by lens now we know that a thick lens that is a lens having a large curvature produces a larger deviation whereas a thin lens that is a lens having a smaller curvature will produce uh, less deviation let's uh, show it figuratively so if there is a lens something like this which is highly curved that is the radius of curvature if we were to extrapolate this to make the whole complete circle then the radius of curvature would have been very small, right? In such a case where there is uh, a thick lens, the deviation is pretty high. But in the case of a thin lens, suppose we have a lens like this. Compared to the first case, this lens is not that curved. Therefore, the radius of curvature of this lens is much much larger the circle which will complete the circle whose part this lens is is of a much larger radius right and in this case the deviation is less so we can say that the amount of deviation pr produced by a lens is a function of its focal length right because focal length uh, is represented through the radius of curvature it has a relation with the radius of curvature so a larger focal length means a larger deviation uh, rather a smaller deviation so as the focal length increases deviation decreases and lesser the deviation less is the power of the lens because power measures the degree of deviation that the lens produces okay now the power of a lens has a unit which is known as diopter right so let me write it down power of lens first let me write the equation for this this is the reciprocal of the focal length so larger the focal length less is our power smaller the focal length larger is the power and a point to note is for the measurement of power the focal length is taken in meter okay so this is very important we need to convert the focal length into meter that will give us the power of the lens and the unit of the power of the lens when we have taken the focal length in meter is called diopter represented by a capital D and it is spelled as D I O P T R E it's represented by a capital D so the power of a lens is the inverse of the focal length in meters right 
So larger is the focal length, smaller is the power of the lens. Now, depending on whether the lens deviates the light towards the principal axis, that is towards the center of the circle or away from the principal axis, that is away from the center of the circle, the power of the lens is positive or negative. So if, let me write it down, deviation towards center we assume that power is positive and the other way around deviation away from center power is negative. Now from our previous discussion we know that the ray of light is deviated towards the center in case of a convex lens, right? So the power will be positive in the case of a convex lens and the ray is deviated away in the case of a concave lens. So the power is negative in case of a concave lens. Okay, so uh, for uh, example let's say we have a convex lens of uh, focal length 20 centimeter then what will be its power? Its power will be 1 divided by 0 0.2 meter that is 5 diopter and since it is a convex lens it is a positive 5 diopter. If it were uh, a concave lens of focal length 20 centimeters, then the power would have been minus 5 diopters. Okay, so this uh, kind of gives you an idea about the power of a lens and uh, the when it is positive, when it is negative. The important idea that uh, we have to measure the focal length in meters to get the power in the right diopter units. So with this idea let us uh, tackle a couple of problems and uh, see how it works out. We have this question which states that a lens has a power of plus uh, 0.5 diopter. So the power is mentioned to be plus 0.5 d and uh, we need to find out the focal length as well as the type of lens. Now with our discussion which we had just now we uh, discussed that a positive power means that the lens is convex in nature, right? It deviates the ray of light towards the center. So the type of lens will be type of lens is convex. So we have answered the second part of the question. Now the first part of the question we need to find out the focal length of the lens, right? We just discussed that power is 1 upon focal length in meters. So we can just uh, cross multiply and that would give us focal length in meter is 1 upon power p that is 1 upon 0 0.5 which gives us 2 meter right. So the focal length is 2 meter for this particular lens at hand. Okay, so this is a simple example. Now, one of the concepts that I did not mention during the lecture is that if we have, let's say, a couple of lens, one has, let's say, a di let me write it down here. Suppose we have two lens, one has a power of 
plus one diopter p1 and another one has a power p2 of minus three diopter let's say then the combination of the two lens will have a effective power which is numerical algebraic sum of the individual power so we can directly add p1 and p2 and we can see that the combination of the two lens will have a power of plus 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 diopter so a combination of plus 1 diopter and minus 3 diopter lens will behave as a concave lens of power 2 okay so with this idea and this examples i will close uh, the lecture on power of a lens the next lecture we will see a practical example a practical usage of lens that is in magnifying glass or as a simple microscope so let's uh, meet again in the next lecture till then have a great day goodbye